I like this. Joke premise inaccuracies. Yeah, I mean, as a, you know, e- e- I, I, if I'm watching stand-up, and I don't even know if I have an example, but I have an example of one of my own jokes. But if, if somebody is starting a premise and it's inaccurate, I'm, I'm out of the joke now because whatever your punchline is that follows, it's like, well, it was, you know, predicated on this faulty thing that you set up. And I have a hard time with it, or if it's inaccurate. And I'm like, now I can't laugh at this, even if structurally it's well yeah. written. Yeah. What, what do you think when it works? Because I would argue that a lot of that, if a joke isn't factually correct, it will get 20% less of a laugh. Yeah, but but yes, when it works, it bothers me. I just think, oh, no, just, it's infuriating. Yeah. It's like you want to throw, you want to just take your tickets and throw them in the air yes. like well this is what we're doing you have a five o'clock somewhere Jill? yeah my my five o'clock so i have a seven minute bit where i break down the song it's five o'clock somewhere it may be 10 minutes i don't know how long it is pretty long when it's working it's 10 yeah yes yes <laughs> and uh i don't do it anymore i just put it on youtube yep. but uh i have the joke is that you know he says uh it's only half past 12 but i don't care it's five o'clock somewhere and yeah. i'm like yeah but that's not true it may yeah. be five thirty somewhere, but we don't lose a half hour just because we change time zones. Correct. Right? This joke was working everywhere, all across the country. It was a hot joke. I posted online, and I don't know. At least for a while, at least for a year, once a day, I would get a comment telling me that there are half hour time zones across the world. And in fact, Newfoundland, Canada, has a half hour time zone. If it's 12.30 in LA, it's five o'clock. Who sang the song? Alan Jackson sings the song. Now, what I would say to the commenters, do you think Alan fucking Jackson <laughs> knows the Newfoundland ta- time zone laws? Well, that's- You what, animals. <laughs> well, that's what I, I think too. And I actually met the guy who wrote the song. Uh, Jim Moose Brown wrote the song. He's come to my show now since I put out this Fantastic. Bit. And since you t- took him to task. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he told me the other day, you finally took the heat off me. I was getting all this heat <laughs> from everyone else. And now you get it. Uh, but it's like, you know, he's like, you know, my point of the song was just, it's any time after. Tw- uh, you know. My point is I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and, you know, but see, now I have a hard time doing the joke. Like I want to do the joke sometimes for fun. It's a whole breakdown of the song. And that's the only Just part. Just add an addendum. I know. That's at what, the end. That's what I will do from now on. But I just... Every time now I think about it because I'm like, now I'm inaccurate. Now it is five o'clock somewhere. Yeah. I have a joke about trauma, about everyone overusing trauma. And I say, tr- I say what trauma is. I'm um, like, it's a physical thing. It's not a vibe. But truthfully, between you and me, they changed the definition of trauma mm. in the 80s. Where it um, used to be a physical thing, and now it can be uh, energy. It can, and I'm there. I just think they're wrong. Oh yeah. And I don't know if technically, because I have an old definition, if I'm just like, no, I'm standing with that. Yeah, no, I get that, but I also get what you're saying. You're like, now it's in your head. Yeah, and no one, know, but it, and it also does a commenter. I mean, I think people there, if you post anything, I can do an AI of what the comments are going to be. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, actually it's like people think it's a way to score a point. Like, well, no, I'm, did you see what I did? I told that guy. Oh yeah. Who's getting gale force approval, uh, that he shouldn't be getting the approval because it is five o'clock somewhere. I have a real problem in the comments. I don't I don't get nasty with it in there, but I do like to comment back um, because of that reason. I just don't want you to think you can come on. Now, I don't do it on other people's channels, but on my own channel, I just think you can't just come on here and criticize it's your me property and not expect me to at least respond. What's funny is when you post the video and then someone will write underneath it, this guy, this guy thinks he's, and it's like, I am this guy and this is this guy's channel. Oh yeah. Just say my name or address me directly. But like this thing of like, Hey everyone, this guy. And it's like, I'm, 
in the you know who I am. Yeah. Don't talk to me like I'm this guy. I'm 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 dusty. Yeah, I mean, I'm so not controversial that people have to say I'm just not funny or I'm boring. I'll get boring sometimes. Mm. I had a guy comment that. He said, uh, "This I saw this guy in Phoenix. He's just a boring, you know, whatever comic. And I go, so boring that you had to come watch another <laughs> video? <laughs> he can't believe it. actually settles his nerves. He yeah. uses you like a like an app yeah. <laughs> to calm himself down. Like, I can't believe that you would come back. This yeah. wonderfully boring <laughs> son of a bitch. Yeah. Um, yeah, You. it turns out you can't uh, listen to anyone about anything. No. Ultimately. I knew that someone referred to, a, a girl from the South referred to Bill Burr as a he just seemed like a bitter Yankee. And I was like, I don't think I can listen to any because I've never, that's not what he is. Right. Right. I, I don't think that's what Bill is. But no. yeah. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah. Did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. I'm, a little, I'm not really used to the green screen. <laughs>